project was planned to provide compensatory experiences for youngsters from a disadvantaged neighborhood. The summer program was designed to help give these youngsters an even break with the more advantaged majority of children in the nation. Dr. Benedict J. Sirwill, principal of the campus school, Dr. Joseph Mann, superintendent of the Buffalo Public Schools, and Dr. Paul G. Bulger, president of the State University College at Buffalo, feel that sharing the information obtained from their efforts with this program will be helpful to other persons in providing Head Start or other preschool compensatory education programs in their communities. The children board the bus in their own neighborhood and are taken to the college campus school. Mothers accompany the children and act as supervisors on the bus and also observe the program in the campus school. In this way, mother and child become intimately involved in this program. Their first routine of the day is a happy one being served cookies and juice. These snacks supplement small breakfasts. Hungry children are not eager to learn and have difficulty staying awake. Nourishing food served at regular intervals is a very important part of the preschool routine. Surroundings here are planned to interest children who need activity, and interesting experience centers are planned for them. Throughout the morning, parents are in and out of the classroom, observing. Parent observation and assistance is highly valued because it is one of the better ways to promote close understanding between the home and the school. Classroom observations can be a most satisfying and effective way for parents to gain insight into the school program. Mothers are encouraged to visit in small groups or individually. Teachers talk to the mothers and, as they watch, help them evaluate their child's reactions and responses in relation to the other children in the group. Puppets offer the young child language experience and dramatic activity. Many activities where children talk with each other and the teacher are needed, as there are wide differences in language ability at school entrance. Some children speak fluently, while others speak in monosyllables or not at all. One of the objectives for the preschool program is the development of language ability. The boys and girls enjoy singing songs together. Music experiences in the preschool are both planned and unplanned. They are always free of pressure to attain high performance standards. The joy of music and creative expression make music experiences times of great satisfaction for both children and teacher. First-hand experiences with animal pets encourage the curiosity of children and expand their interests. The children observe the turtles and talk together about what they see. They become absorbed and involved in this learning experience. Their span of interest is of relatively long duration. The first-hand experiences the children are having with turtles is also being observed by college students preparing to become teachers. Good listening habits are strengthened through experiences like this story hour in the school library. The children need help to interpret meaningfully the stories read to them. They hear and see the reading of a story by an inflection of a voice. Art activities are a time for enjoyment, expressing ideas and stimulating creativity. The art consultant offers his encouragement and guidance to the children in their manipulation of materials. High school students employed under the summer work-study program assist the teacher. Field trips are planned to provide first-hand experiences for the children and their parents. The children and their parents are prepared in advance for all of these trips and are told of things that they might see. They are accompanied throughout by an understanding guide who helps them build their vocabulary, clarify understandings, and keep their interest high. Many opportunities to enrich learning experiences are afforded by well-planned trips under the direction of the teacher. The 
tape recorder gives the staff and the participating college students an opportunity to evaluate the child's speech patterns and vocabulary. Tape recording also offers the child one more opportunity to have a first-hand experience with unfamiliar equipment. Children enjoy the individual attention and the opportunity to talk to an interested adult listener. And teachers discover some children have exceptional learning and personality problems. Observing children's play may tell a great deal about them, how they feel about themselves and other persons, and how they use their own language and motor skills. Many have fewer words at their command for either understanding or for communicating. An important role in the campus school program is the work done in the Child Study Center. Experts study each child to help teachers learn more about the individual and to learn more about disadvantaged children as a group. One of the methods used for the children to express themselves was the Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test. This test was chosen partly because it does not require a child to speak, but it does help to assess the number of objects a child can recognize. The children are also asked to draw a man, a woman, and themselves. Disadvantaged youngsters often draw more rudimentary figures than other children. Some, however, are surprisingly well done. This procedure is recommended because it does not require language skills beyond the ability to understand the directions. Later, the drawings are very carefully analyzed. Unusual drawings are noted for further study. All information is used to compile as complete a picture of each child as possible. Learning experiences are carefully aimed to develop skills and the satisfaction of accomplishment. Staff conferences are held at the end of each daily session. Continuous records are kept that provide clues to understanding the behavior of individual children. These children are guided in many different ways that add up to a good head start. On the last day of school, the campus school principal and the vice president of the college meet with the parents to discuss the program with them and to obtain their personal reactions to the program. The parents indicated their overwhelming approval of all aspects of this summer school project. Reports from public schools show that the children who had attended the summer school program were inclined to talk more freely, played and worked together better, followed directions more closely, were less apprehensive of their new school environment, and demonstrated greater stamina on field trips. The children were more inquisitive. Also, their parents were much more interested in their education. The future holds added opportunities for these children who have shared a variety of educational experiences in the Buffalo Campus School pre-kindergarten program at the State University College.